It was 2 0 after nine minutes, and I thought, here we go. He sat next to me going four, five, six, seven. Um, but then we got back into the game, and, and our time came when we really didn't want it to come, really, because she was on the front foot. And I said to actually to, to Tom Wilson, second half, come on, let's can I have a, a little bit more belief, and we might get some out of the game. But you always you always feel at the other end that they get a goal. I've just seen the goal, I'm, I'm quite sure that. That Alan will be disappointed with the goal. You know, he tried sorting his feet out, it's gone through his legs and crept over the line. But performance wise, fantastic result, not so good. Yeah, absolutely. Kerry, from, from a Chelsea point of view, and indeed as, a, as an observer looking at how City did, what did you make of the game overall? It, it, it was an exciting spectacle to watch. Well, it was. Um, from a Chelsea point of view, it was a case of few. Um, and they'll be thankful they've got away from uh, the KC Stadium with all three points. Uh, on the day, I feel, I feel that Hull possibly deserved a draw, and a draw possibly would have been a fair result, with Courtois being the busy of the two keepers and making numerous saves, albeit a mistake as well. Um, Hull could count themselves unfortunate. Dean's absolutely right. First ten minutes, Chelsea were fabulous, two great goals, and I did think if Hull don't sort, sort themselves out, this could be four or five. Um, I've seen that too many times before. Um, Steve Bruce made a change, went to a back four and he shored up the, the gaps at the back and Hull showed a lot of commitment and fight and uh, effort and indeed good football as well and I think that uh, that should stand them in good stead, they can they count themselves extremely unlucky not to come away from the game with anything and if they continue with uh, the fight, the passion and play like that the remainder of their games I don't really see a problem with them staying up. What they need of course is a bit of luck in these games that they play well and actually get the, get the three points. Dean said it before in a few of the lounges, and, and it's absolutely right. Sometimes it's better to win ugly than play very well and lose. So a couple of ugly wins uh, we wouldn't go and miss down here, I wouldn't have thought. Yeah, was it a game of uh, two goalkeeping errors, one for Courtois and one for McGregor? Dean seems to think it, it was one way. What, what do you make of it? It wasn't just about the errors. I mean, uh, there's Courtois mistake, brought hold back level. Um, McGregor mistake less, a bit less of a mistake. He was diving one way, went through his legs. Um, it wasn't about mistakes. I, I, I think this was about Hull City showing what they're capable of. And if you want punching above their weight um, in terms of what their league position suggests, you know, if they'd have played like this all season, and maybe they have, I haven't seen enough of them, they might not be in the position they're in. But uh, if they have been playing like this all season, then. I don't know how they're in the position they are. Um, and Chelsea, as I've said before, be thankful for the three points and going home with the three points because all they really earned out of it was a point, in my opinion. Yeah, Dean, I thought going forward for us, there was, there was a, a lot of football played and, and we were very much on the front foot going forward, passing forward. It was, we talked about Steve Bruce maybe being a bit tight early on and that went out the window, but we played some good attacking football. Well, I said to you, if, if they score early doors, then you've got to change the system because he's, he's three marking one. He, he went back to a back four, went four four two, which we expected. Um, we've got a lot of pace up front. I spoke to Mike Freeland before the game, and he wants him to play forward, you know, because he has got a lot of pace up front. Dean, were you asking for a game again? You've got to let it go, mate. You've got to let it go. I could never run, but, but I could score. <laughs> but but um, I forgot what I was going to say. Now. <laughs> Uh, playing attacking football, Dean. We played some good attacking football today. No, it's like Kerry said, and I always say is that you know, I'm disappointed when I've played well and lost. You know, when you when you haven't played so well and you get on the you get on the coach or you get on the, the trip home and you've won, you know, then you're happy. But we've got a, a welcome break. You know, as you say, we, we've played well today, and Steve will be, be happy about the performance. You know, at least the lads won't be as disappointed as what they normally would be. We could have feared the worst. It could have been four or five, couldn't it? But. Full, full credit to them, they got back into the game, a little bit more quality I thought, 
Al Mohammed in maybe, you know, maybe should have scored at the end. You know, and he, if they got more, a bit more across the goalkeeper. But obviously he's not me, is he? So. <laughs> Ladies and gents, there is only one thing, isn't there? There really is. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your afternoon with us. You might have liked for you in just a few minutes' time as well. Uh, Alex Burgess, for now, please give your thanks to Kevin Dixon and to Nick Withers.